your dad is very important in your life, and he taught you a lot about failure and the way that you think about failure. Mm -hmm. No doubt there were small <coughs> failures along the way. Help, help folks understand your philosophy around failure and what you learned. Well, growing up, my dad used to encourage my brother and me to fail. So at the dinner table, he would actually ask us, what did you fail at this week? And if we didn't have something to tell him, he would actually be disappointed. And I can remember coming home from school and be like, Dad, Dad, I tried out for this and I was horrible. And he'd be like, way to go and high five me. <laughs> and what, it was such a gift what he was doing. I didn't realize it at the time, but he was redefining failure for me. And so failure became not about the outcome, but about not trying. And so, you know, the fear of failure, as we all know as entrepreneurs, is one of the greatest fears sure. in life. It's one of the things that stops us in our tracks and keeps us from trying something. Um, and so I, you know, I incorporate that in my philosophy at Spanx. We have, we celebrate failures, we talk about them, we have oops meetings where I'll announce the oops that I have and sometimes we have fun with it. We'll even attach theme songs to our oops <laughs> and we'll play them in front of the whole company. But I think it's just so important to, to try to get the people that you work with to take risks and to be entrepreneurial and not live in a place of, I want to protect my job and feel like I'm not safe if I make mistakes. That's tough. And one, you know, one of the things I also do is I like to go up to people at Spanx and I say, I'm always trying to get people off autopilot. Like if you think about it, everything we do, almost everything we do in life is autopilot. We're doing things exactly the way someone else showed us how to do it or taught us how to do it. Well, if you're doing things exactly the way everyone else is, there's, no, there's not going to be any real significant change. There's not going to be a really meaningful potential breakthrough. So um, I always go up to people at Spanx and say, if nobody showed you how to do your job, how would you be doing it? And I'll say, just sit with that. You know, I'm always, like, I'll stop myself often and just say, okay, you know, this is how I've been doing it, but is this right? And give yourself the time to think about it. So I ask people to do that.